wa Carl Lewis ambaye atatuonyesha vipaji vyake na vile ambavyo anavitumia ndivyo aweze kufanya hasuli yake. Usibanduke. Jinangu ni Carl, Carl Lewis Ayeko. Yeah. Na mimi ni artist. Yeah. Lakini sasa mimi nilifanya part-time job ni student bado uh, University of Nairobi. Yeah. Yeah, na hii like hustle yangu. Okay, my main hustle. Though I fanya part time jo ya class. Yeah, as a student class mtu tafuta hustle ya kila siku. Upkeep jule doni mzazi na pay victorsha. Yeah, so hustle yangu ni basically kuchora. Kuchora 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 wasi na kuchora vitu tu mob ndaonyesha baadaye. Um ndio fanya vitu mob categories mingi za kuchora. Um, kuna hizi za mkono, kuna hizi za computer. Yeah. Mainly ni hizo mbili. Okay, pia kuna hizi za um, craft. Hizo ni lazima model kitu. Pia but it's going into much hiyo a craft. But mimi mfanya more hizi digital. Digital ni ya computer na za mkono. Na, na ulianza kuchora lini like ulianza kujua unajua kuchora lini <laughs> nakumbuka nilikuwa na chora hata before before nianze shule before nianze before nianze nursery yeah. nakumbuka nikichora uh, mamangu akiniambia nichore nijaribu kumchora nikiwa mdogo hata before ni before nianze nursery so it gives me lazima kuchora nikiwa very young hapo 5 years 6 years si mtu anazanga shule akiwa 6 years hapo Five, yeah. Four, yeah. So, yeah, me, I'm going to have to run into five years, Apple, six years. And then all through Pakasai, Nico, twenty, twenty-two. Eh, power. Na, ulianza kuchora lini full-time kufanya kama hasuli yako? Niki yom dogo, um, siku wana zua, unezo make money from kuchora. Niki wana fikiri anga, mtu wana chora anga kuwa mezu watu. Like, wana chora, wana bambika. Watona eh watu wanakuambia eh umechora fiti umechora eh sasa siko na jone za uza so ndo nikafika nga high school nikaenda shule ile nanga shule art okay though mwalimu akawa atufunza sana huo mwalimu sali ndiye alinitroduce to to the business side ya art alianza kunipeleka hizi vitu za kuchora certificates nini mm-hmm. uh, at the end of the day una nurdi shule na kitu kama 3k ama 4k na jo 3k for msaho high school hiyo bado hiyo ndio mob <laughs> for a day ni domo so ondo msali ni introduce to like art unaweza uza so ndio akaanza kunipeleka hizi ma exhibitions ni nini ni, ni, kaanza kupatia exposure and then sir after from 4 ndio nikaamua ku ku commercialize art yangu kuuza sasa mm. sana nilianza kuuza na hizi ma portraits like picha za watu pekee si kwanza kuuza na hizi picha za um, hizi ma landscape ama ilianza na portraits na nge <coughs> ukaweza ulizo unaweza sema ulianza hii hasa na pesa ngapi okay nikianza nikianza nilianza na pesa kidogo sana so, bado hata siko na job business hata siko na job tunafaa siko na job ile mtu uprice atax zake so picha yangu kwanza ni uzanga 2k ilikuwa ni three size nimechora na pencil na nika frame and then pole pole ajo art inanga like price inanga inanga like a specific value at hii art ni 10k ama hii art ni 20k so vile mse value wa kazi yake ndio naweza ngaa yako so your time bado si kwa like ni naiva sana si kwa si kwa mnoma okay so same sahi mimi ni mnoma sana but your ni compare na sahi si kwa like si kwa um, si kwa mnoma compare to sahi so ndio zanga changu cheap 2k hii time ni li value at 2k Uh, so na sisi sisi value 2k kazi yangu sahi of course ni made practice for three more years yeah so that's why like prices you fluctuate uh, yeah mm. kwa hivyo tuseme ulianza na 2000 mbili ulianza na 2000 mbili picha ya kwanza picha ya kwanza hadi wa leo hadi wa leo sawa pole pole the three size piece ni za 10k si at yo pepa natumia ama hizo pencil natumia ni very expensive hapana ni vile mtu value kazi yake unajua ukijivalue kama ukijivalue wewe ni msewa 
some of coins or sort of value comes or coins kid value comes here notes or sort of value kama mtu wa so you know the value pia and then we mwenyewe unajua effort yako unajua vile umekuwa ki practice pole pole the same thing wape na footballers mtu ana nyinga club mara kwanza unapata alipo kama 200k a kitchen club baadaye bei inapanda so the same who apply to that pole pole the more na grow the more ongeza skill the more ongeza price ya pesa yako um kali unaweza tueleza um neuro materials gani unatumia na vile unavyozitumia so a um, music artist like what type kazote sikwangi na a specific material ndio watu wengi utumia unapata msia na paint pekee ama nafanya hizo black and white peke yake ama nafanya digital peke yake so mm-hmm. to me kuku artist na food jerb hizo vitu zote so that's why unaona hapa juu niko na vitu mambo kama hizi hizi ni pencil za kuchora mm-hmm. kisi pencil za kawaida kisi pencil ah, za kawaida kama hii inaitwa hii ni 4B uh-huh. na hii ni 2B zile za shule ni zile ma HB so hizi ni hizi okay hii ni graphite hizo pencils and then hizi ni chako mm-hmm. chako okay hii ndio ina kwanga my favorite medium mm-hmm. yeah, and then hizi uh, ni water colors na hizi ni oil paints so, so picha kama hii mm-hmm. picha kama hii nimetumia hizi peke yake peke yake wow. peke yake sasa okay ngia kwa social media yangu utaona zaidi nimefanya na chako picha zangu mingi nimefanya na chako juu hizi ni target ile dark ni target black than more black than this eh so nikitaka kushara tuseme na chako ni utumia hizi kwanza ku sketch and then after ni sketch na tumia sasa chako ku ku shade okay pia ni ufanya hiyo animation bila nilikwambia tukianza so naweza kuonyesha vitu ni ufanya story na 3D animation. Itonga 3D modeling pia 3D animation. Na depend unafanya nini exactly. Kama hii ya kwanza. Hii ya kwanza hapa nilikuwa jaribu ku model sauti sol acha ni. Mhm. tablet mimi tumia kufanya hizo ma. Mhm. Wow. So ndio hii. Ni bia au ni bien. Kumesha jua tu ni bien. Nje kuza ukitakuwa na sasa bila naka um rendered mode. So sasa hii na render itakuonyesha kala yake, hizo specs za meva. Okay, sije mweke nguo. Ndio kimodel kimodel mtu ni kama ni kama na mtu anaweza kile kitu one by one. Alizo nguo. Yeah, so ana kuna nyingine pia mimi nimefanya. Um Uni bestie yangu nilikuwa na try ku model. Mhm. Ah, tena nitambe sasa chini. So hapa nilikuwa na design mission ya kichwa ya mtu ikiform. So hizi ndio vitu nimefanya kwa history na 3D. So mm-hmm. niki niki press 0 or niki press 0 kwa computer yangu. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so niki press play ndio hiyo. So hizo ndivyo tumia fanya kwa comp. So na 3D. So hii ni modeling, ni 3D modeling. Mm-hmm. Jo bado sija animate. Okay. Uh, kwa hiyo lazima 3D model ndio lazima model kwanza mm-hmm. ukishamaliza ku model una animate kuna shade la shot sura sura hiyo jamaa ina kaa hivi hivyo so acha hiyo movement uliona mm-hmm. niki output niki render hii hii nini itarenda sasa na hii like hizi colors okay. So, hizi ndio vitu mimi fanya kwa 
na hiyo story not really so after school na plan kufanya hii full time mm-hmm. na dai ku gather ama artist wengine wenye pia wanafanya animation kutoka hapa kuna studio studio ya Kenya ndio Kenya bado yeah kuna animator but bado at the stand out like kuna animator wa normal kutoka Kenya city hawako wako ni vile tunawaka individuals mm-hmm. so na dai kushika na artist wengine kutoka hapa kuna studio poa ya animation So, kama wewe unaweza kutengeneza kwa kwa comp like model yako mm-hmm. and then ni animate mm-hmm. kwa animate mimi chukua like movement yangu na ikaya hiyo model hiyo movement yangu so unaweza unaweza kutengeneza kwa comp mm-hmm. and then ni animate ni tengeneza movement mtu afikiri ni wewe uko unafanya kitu mali lakini si wewe ni kitu nimetengeneza na na comp so end result itakaa hivi. Hadi details za nywele. Kazi za nimefanya so kwenye surrenders. Kama hii. Hii ni animation sana ile create. Ni modeling pia ni animation. Mhm. Um. The scene um kwa hivyo pia unatarajia kutengeneza filamu. Yeah. Kama hii ni simu yangu basi nikaka logo yangu kwa hiyo simu. Hizo nafikiria baadaye logo yangu inaweza kuwa brand ya kitu fulani leader. Yeah, so hizi ndio vitu vifanya na hiyo story na 3D. kupitia changamoto zipi katika hasil hii yako? Ya changamoto changamoto ni mingi sana. Kicho kwanza um, kupata clients kama uji, kama una like kama una community artists wenye wanaku surround kupata clients ni ngumu. Na mimi nilianzia hapo nilianzia penyewe sina mabishi wenye ni ma artist. So like nilianza kwa hasil pole pole ni tafuta client mmoja mmoja una mabishi wana kushow au oh, kuna exhibition mahali ama kuna event mahali tu netu nyesha kazi yetu mtukai hizo ujui so unapata <coughs> challenge za mimi nilipitia ilikuwa ku get clients mara ya kwanza hii mm. ilikuwa my first challenge then ya pili ni mara ya kwanza bado siko na job problem sasa hivi unaweza protect your business so uko na pata wasio uko na news sana mtu anakuambia nichore picha and then akulipi then sasa pole pole vile nilikuja kupata na artist wengine ndio kan chano vile unaweza protect kazi kazi yako. Mm. Mm. Then challenges mbao kama kuna ngine, um, kupata materials. Ziko a tricky kupata sasa zingine. Unaenda book okay, materials zangu mimi by textbook center. Sometimes unaenda hapo ambiwe wako out of stock. A client anataka picha by this week. Now say stock ziko kuja after two weeks. Ama like eh, I think two weeks ama one and a half weeks. So, so kama pencil zako zimeisha a client anataka picha in 4 days unaenda huko unaambiwa haziko na wasi pekee ndio walikuwa na kwanga na hizo jumi utumia charcoal charcoal pencil hizo charcoal pencils i think so far ni mizo na tbc peke yake so unapata kama uko out of stock hiyo kwa challenge una, unashindwa unaambia client ni unapata ni yenye like ni lazima iko in 4 days tena uko na kitu kama graduation ama ni birthday so wizi mwambie ati ati ngoja 2 weeks anaenda kufanyia atakwambia acha nitafute artist mwingine Yeah. Ndio challenge. Na challenge nyingine ni kama wase kuko appreciate. Watu wengi wa uh, appreciate art jimbo na. Yeah, so, but bado kuna those few when you appreciate art. Yeah. Indi kitu unanifanyanga bado na na work. Ajuna uh, job bado out of 10 kuna wasi at least 2 ama 3 bado kuna sort appreciate. Yeah. 
na ume mention kuhusu ku protect kazi unaweza tueleza unaweza fafanua zaidi kuhusu venye una protect kazi yako Zambia mati sonye badoji um, before kubali kazi yote professionally hata hata ukienda kwa fundi yote sema unataka kubai kitu kutoka online sema jumia lazima ulipe ndio kuleta sio yeah. uh, ama kwa supermarket lazima ulipe ndio utoke nje so the same thing na apply na art ndio fanye mtu picha unaweza msho boss kama picha ni tanki muambia nipatie down payment ndio uje kama mtu kwa serious unamwambia okay mimi mbeki client wangu nipatie half half the price kama picha ni 30k namwambia nipatie 15k ndio nianzie kazi ndio nije kama ako serious za watu wengine wanaweza kuambia ni chore and then aku after me chore so and then so mtu anapiga picha si zipatie mse 15k na ni sichukue kazi so inabidi amemalizia the other half ndio chukue hiyo picha and then before achukue hiyo half lazima kupate the remainder uki deliver lazima kupate the remaining cost ndio mpate hiyo picha and then, so on, on the other side ata push kuwa like already kuna down payment na kuna hiyo picha so uja lose anything yenda me lose actually so, yeah. so that's how even though me protect the young down payment first and then yengine when i deliver sasa kama yeye yeah. kukosa raw materials unafanya gani sometimes inabidi ume na online store kama Amazon yeah. so unapata kama sema pencil soko ni kama 250 Amazon utapata ni 150 but hiyo shipping cost unaweza kuwa na standard shipping cost you yeah. i think 2k yeah so unapata ndio orizo pencil utano pencil za 150 baruta tumia kitu kama 2k kuzi ship. Eh <laughs> hey, ama 2k between 15 and 2k ni sawa hiyo cost. But so sometimes inabidi uzuri Amazon huko huko like reliable ta order leo after like 3 days au tukuletea ama 4 days tutakuletea hiyo kwa pionishi. So ndio option yetu tumia kama ziko hizi stores za Kenya ni by Amazon. Mm. So mia University of Nairobi. Uh, tunafanya okay mimi nafanya bachelor of art and design but ojo okay ojo, kuna art na kuna design that's why nitonga art and design so cha tunafanya shule ni design but my my bias like penye mimi niko good ni art mimi nafanya hii ni art so ukisomea design na wewe ni art inakuwa inakuwa ina advantage ile like, kuna ile artistic mind artistic eye kambi wa kitu unaweza ku visualize na unafanya. Sasa hii tunafanya design. Lina ninafanya a major na itwa illustration. And illustration ni hizi ma hizi ma cartoons wase watch kwa mago vitu kama hizo zina tunasomea kufanya sasa hii. Then on my own new new for the 3D 3D animation. Yeah. Okay, miko 3D animator lakini sana zo the more na soma the more na get better. Na kwa miaka tatu sasa umekuwa kichora kama main hustle yako. Unaweza sema achievements zako ni kama gani? Kwa sababu ya hii kazi. Kwa hii kazi. Eh, kichora kwangu ni kama like ni everything to me. Hata ukiangalia piece ya mean so piece, kalenda ya safari kwa ya this year, hiyo month ya September, niko hapo, niko hapo the youngest artist on the, the calendar <laughs> so to me hiyo ni achievement unajua wase wote wase wote ni wase kwa 25 26 30 40 so the youngest hapo no time nilikuwa 21 so naonesha nikiendelea ku practice inaweza nifikisha mbali and then nimenisaidia pia tv shows kama hii yenu yeah, at least sasa sawa nanijua kama hii yenu ya tv 47 So at ni hasa poa inaweza kufikisha mbali sana. Then nimesalimia wasi prominent, nimeitwa wasi wakubwa. Nimepata wasi wengi na nataka ku oh Carl tunaweza invest in this, tunaweza invest in this. Njoo asomo na kazi yangu. So ni hasa poa. Familia yako ina unaweza sema kuwa ina support vyema kuhusu hasil hii. Eh sana, sana. Unajua kama acha hicho. Kama kuna msali kwa akili. Dream yangu ya ku artist ilikuwa wazazi wangu. Juu nikiwa mdogo okay 
ili kwanga chopi ikiwa mdogo so wazo mapero wengi kawa ni chopi kitu kifanya kitu kingine atakwambia eh mimi nataka ni kwenu kupata ili eh, ama nataka kuona kupata eh? so pero wangu mimi limsho eh dadimi nataka nataka ku nataka kuchora so nikimwambia wewe oh, unataka watercolors nataka brushes ama nataka nini Al, every time nilikuwa na mshow alikuwa ananibaia so yenda yenda nilifanya nika nika realize kumbe naweza chora juzu juzu alikuwa ananibaia nilikuwa na practice nazo and then nikitoka shule lazima mamangu anuliza ati eh leo umechora nini as in hiyo ku build up mtu kiwa mdogo ndio inasaidia mtu na kwa mnoma okay mimi si mnoma sana but niza sema acha ngi kupoa Unaweza tueleza umeji involved kwa exhibitions ama competitions kama ngapi na zimekusaidia vipi? Okay so far okay sija so participate competitions mingi. Ya kwanza ilikuwa hii ya Safaricom. Okay so nilikuwa na ile kile ya kuna mtu mnoa kuniliko. So that's why siko na participate in the competitions. Niko nafikiria anga kuna mtu tu mnoa kuniliko atakuwa ata, ata chosen to feel by manda ndio ndo bishi changu landodonga kan show niza try stuff niza try kenyan canvas yani katra alafu nika get selected so from that day nika nika realize niza participate in competitions na get selected but these events nime nimeenda ende events kiasi yeah after zangu niza zipata kuna place fulani sasa za kare inaitwa brika brak hapo ndio mimi ndo kuzibit kazi yangu sana na unaona kama hizo exhibitions zimekusaidia kwa hasili yako Yeah, unaweza zina kusaidia. Unaweza kama kama ati yako ni poa. Wasio utaka kujua. Wasio utaka kupatia kazi. Wasio utaka kupatia vitu tumo as in utapata connections kutoka kutoka hizo exhibitions na events. So, unaweza mbia ama artist wengine kwa ndo kuna shida kwanza kwa kuna shida clients. Anza na hizo exhibitions. Yeah. Unaweza pata clients wa poa hapo. Unaweza kuwa umejaribu hasuli nyingine yoyote? Ah. Uh, si bali. Okay yangu ni vile hapa. Hasuli yangu kwa tu kuchora. Ni vile mimi kuchora ngi kwa wide nafanya hizi za digital za mkono hizo 3D. Na za artist wengi unapata ngaa anafanya digital peke yake mm. ama anafanya hizo za mkono peke yake. So and then kuna wasi regard animation kama artist art to me you badoni art so kama regard kama art hiyo ni kwa another hustle to me kama semeni regard animation uh, so like hustle yangu mimi ni kwa tu kuchora si jaribu any other hustle who uh, wanna advertise vp social media social media kwa platform fit sana ya kuji advertise hata ukicheki zima zima brand za masimu wao tumia tu social media zuni ngumu Apple kujadi hapa kijijini waweza kuambia oh, kuna Apple nini. So the best way the easiest way yenye kila msanii za Ford social media. Unaweza tumia Instagram na Facebook. Those kwa ngi Facebook sana. Lakini Instagram kama kazi yako ni poa utapata wasao wame kupost post. Watu wako kupost unapata clients, referrals na and then pia referrals zao wakaido kufanya mtu kazi. Unamwambia nga ana market like aku post pia. Yeah. and then uh, anaweza nyesha wasi anaweza post kwa status yake whatsapp watu waone yeah ni njia moja ya kumarket yeah. yeah. na na ni njia gani ambayo umeona imekusaidia sana kati ya hizo zote zinamtaka hizo zote imesaidia sana ni social media instagram mm. instagram imenipatia clients kama 50% of my clients okay 50 to 60% are any watu wa instagram wengi jimtu atona atona sema ni chore mtu kama tanasha tanasha ni post watu wengi watataka atamuuliza nani alikuchora atani dm mwanyambie tell me nataka picha yeah. and then events pia so ni sema half ni wapata through social media au ngine ni wapata referrals na events yeah. advice yako kwa yes ungekuwa gani Uh, and um advice was say um practice a passion never picture anywhere 
uki, uki practice daily uta get better hata ukianza kuchora ukiwa unasemanga mimi sizi chora ukianza practice daily for a month hata wewe mwenyewe utana difference so kwa ni artist una for practice like daily in my opinion as in natakani 20 minutes si lazima ufanye at level wa sana kanga chini mtu anaka for 8 hours vile nyuka <laughs> unaweza ka even for 20 minutes uskip something kila siku tu kila siku kama mimi nikienda chuo every day music chuo say live for free kila siku for like 15 minutes 20 minutes ya juna juna ni saidia so practice na passion in the future mali then una day and then ana ni upenda do but money if i if i kukua your first priority uke kama ni your first priority utapata do na utacha kuchora so una for una for fikirie vile unaweza kuwa like hiyo jina uki inaweza kujulikana na sengi fikirie vile utaenda events au so juu fikirie vile uta fikirie vile ati yako like ita grow that way pesa itakama unaweza tueleza mipango yako ya siku za nyuso ni gani Siku za nyuso ni nataka nataka kufanya hii art full time We get done in into business and then sasa nataka ku hiyo story na animation nataka ku come up na kitaka studio studio yangu ya animation So that's when I need your do ya hii art yangu ni pati do ya ku ku make into animation hiyo stuff inataka doing it uh, uh, nataka ku after ni mwanza saa like my fourth year ni ni tapewa ma artist wengine ama ah wase wa animation sana mmm shika ni from studio kutoka studio but e art after ni ndi fanya full time sana kweli na umetaja kuwa inachukua pesa mingi sana kufungua hiyo okay. studio yeah. eh, animation studio unafanya nini ndio uweze kufika hapo sasa so, naona sasa za pesa zangu ni kisev pesa. Sasa pesa. Azo na para comp comp mode na za cost sema kitu ka 200k. Ndio nafungua studio tena mko wase kama wanne uni. Kila mtu sema okay mtume mtu ni comp camp uni ka 400k. Uta need cameras, uta need the space. So sasa ina save save do. Na uza portrait zangu ni kisev cash. You cash ikui kama capital ya ku start up ni studio animation mtazamaji nasikitika tumefika tamati ya makala ya wiki hii ya hasa umashinani na tumeangazia kijana mmoja mwenye kipaji na anakitumia kuwa hasuli yake kwa hivyo ukiwa pale nyumbani na unajua una kipaji unaweza unaweza pia kukitumia kiwe hasuli yako tupatane wiki jayo saa na wakati kama huwa leo mimi ni msimulizi wako Magdalene Wanjiko inshallah